Hi, my name is Greg Pock, and you are watching the Pockcast. I'm very excited today to bring you an interview with Tak Miyazawa, a brilliant artist with whom I've collaborated in the past. We co-created Amadeus Cho back in the day, and now we've just uh, worked together on a new story called Los Robos Arizona, which is a kid and his giant robot story that is part of the Shattered Asian American Comics Anthology. The Shattered Anthology is uh, out in bookstores and available at Amazon even as we chat, so please do feel free to check it out. I grew up reading uh, Gundam and stuff and watching the, the anime and uh, you know I love robots. At, at some point when we were working on it you asked me um, what the different robots should be like and I, I, th I think it was you who suggested that maybe they're from different eras and we could draw an inspiration from different giant robos of different generations and I thought that was just mm -hmm. a perfect idea. Yeah just uh I guess small differences like that really kind of open up the world and give it more history and more potential. So I just thought it'd be kind of a nice touch. One of the things that I think you're really great at is drawing regular people who look sort of fashionable without being um, showy, if that makes sense. And I'm, I'm curious, what contributes to that? I mean, do you pay attention to fashion? and or, or I don't know. I, I don't consider myself like a fashionista or like a designer or... I don't really read fashion magazines that much. You know, I'm a t-shirt and shorts kind of guy. But, uh, <laughs> you know, in terms of uh, like just a, a comic, I, I want to see something different and I want to make what they're, they're, they're wearing part of the environment and part of, part of the comic as well. So. You're just the perfect guy to do the Amadeus Cho thing because he's, you know, he's a regular kid running around the Marvel Universe. And then also with uh, the Vision Machine stuff, those are regular people. And also, and, and I mean, it's kind of interesting because most of the stuff we've collaborated on is people in civilian clothes. Uh, yeah. So that's, yeah. uh, I hadn't even really put that all together until just now. I think that's the most, the stuff I, I enjoy the most, it's like regular people doing uh, unregular things. <laughs> and, uh, it's just that kind of, that contrast I really like too. All right. Uh, Somebody in a T-shirt, you know, saving the world. <laughs> I'm really excited about it. I mean, this is the way it always works when you when you're working with a great artist. As the as the character designs come in, you just get inspired. You know what I mean? Like the characters really become real. The way you drew Park was just perfect because he's an arrogant kid, but you gave him just enough vulnerability that he could go either way. He could become the world's worst supervillain, or he could become a hero, you know, and, and that's a great tension, you know what I mean? And you were able to bring that out, just the way you drew that yeah. character. Stuff like that is just really, really yeah. great. Uh, I just love, like, reading the dialogue and, and, and forming those ideas in my head and then drawing them, and then uh, the writer will come back with, with more ideas and stuff. That's kind of what I love about the process the most, I guess. It, it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And I like kind of that journey. All right, dude. Okay. Thanks a ton. That was awesome. Thank you.